the software has a quilter program accessed through the applications toolbox. Go to applications and select quilter. Use the quilter as a design tool that can help you combine patchwork, embroidery, and applique to help you plan your quilt. Across the top, you will see drop down menus and shortcut icons for many of the items that you'll find in the drop down menu. You can open, save, print, cut, copy, paste, undo, and redo. We will talk about some of the other icons later. Under the standard toolbar are icons that let you lock your quilt, your embroidery on your quilt, or applique on your quilt so that you don't accidentally move them. In addition, there is a palette bar where colors and fabrics can be chosen as possibilities for your quilt. On the left side of the screen are icons used to edit the quilt and arrange the designs and applique placed on the quilt. Along the bottom, you'll be able to keep track of all the blocks, the colors, and the fabrics used in your quilt. On the right side is the library docker, which is used to place blocks, colors, and fabrics on your quilt. If you rest your cursor on the icons, a flag appears to name the icon. Quilter has its own reference manual that can be accessed by selecting Help and Reference Manual. Options can be accessed by going to Settings and clicking on Options. You can go to the Grid tab and set the grid spacing. You can also activate Snap to Grid and Smart Snap. Snap to Grid will snap objects only to a grid when you are close to a grid line. If you activate Smart Snap and deactivate Snap to Grid, this will snap a control point to an existing outline and not necessarily a grid line. You can also choose to set a reference point and that will allow you to click on part of a design and that part of the design will align with the grid. You can turn off the grid either by unchecking Show Grid and clicking OK, or clicking on the grid icon in the standard toolbar. If you select File Quilt Properties, there are two tabs, and you will see a summary of your quilt. You can also click on the Summary tab and enter any information that you would like to store with your quilt design.